Lucy. Are you gonna hold the football? Yes! You gonna hold that football? Yes! All right, here I go! Charge! Wow! Oh, you bitch! <laughs> family entertainment with no edge, no grit. Then let the New York Actor Studio show you a new twist on an old classic. It's You're a Rat Bastard, Charlie Brown. <laughs> Starring Glen Gary Glen Ross's Al Pacino. Christmas is coming, but I'm not happy. Philip Seymour Hoffman as Pigpen. You know, I think the whole Christmas experience is overrated. Pigpen! Charlie. You look like <laughs> You smell like <laughs> But you're my friend, Pigpen. With Edie Falco as Lucy. Charlie Brown, what the heck do you think you're doing? This is Christmas. You can't just be moping around. It's not right. I know. I know what you need. Why? I have Ativan. You want that? Oh, yeah. Little Valium? Oh, yeah. You like a Clonopin? I want someone to take me sky high. <laughs> it's Charlie Brown by way of Brooklyn with Larry David as Lucas. I don't know, this whole Christmas thing, it's a whole to-do, you know, with the parties and the presents and the decorating. Eh, it's not for me. What do you mean Christmas is not for you? Don't tell me it's not for you. If I say it's for you, then it's for you. Oh, so, 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 so I'm just supposed to accept what you say? You know what? You don't know what the hell you're talking about. you, Linus. Me? Yeah. Why don't you go yourself, Charlie Brown? Ah. Plus the whole Peanuts game, like Forrest Whitaker as Franklin. Charlie! What's the meaning of Christmas? Kristen Chenoweth reprises her Broadway role as Sally. Dearest Santa, how was your summer? Did you all have a swell little grand old time? Stupid. Michael Keaton as Schroeder. You want to get peanuts? Come on! Let's get peanuts. And all the adults. Nobody likes me, Ma. 
wah, 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 wah. Ah, you're killing me, Ma! Voiced by the incomparable Fran Drescher. Wah, 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 wah. Oh, that's like a knife in my heart! <laughs> I'm at it. Yeah. You're at eggnog. This whole party's at eggnog. It's all the iconic Charlie Brown moments you remember from childhood. Lucy, are you gonna hold the football? Yes. You gonna hold that football? Yes. All right, here I go. Charge! Wow! <laughs> oh, you bitch! <laughs> Charlie Brown. Get the f out of here. It's got grass. It's soft. All right, we're going to take an intermission real quick. You're a rat bastard, Charlie Brown. In previews now and forever, so they can never review it. It's a uh, pretty, pretty, pretty good. Coming this December. From the makers of Best Man Holiday, Black Nativity, and Medea's Christmas, comes the holiday event of the season. Please, it's Christmas. Just give me one more month. I'm sorry, ma'am, but you're in foreclosure. What am I supposed to do? White Christmas, the first black holiday movie for a white audience. A woman who's lost finds her way home. I don't want to stay here. Rashid, we are going to stay with Mama Ruth, and I don't want to hear another word. When there's nowhere else to turn, family will always be there. Hello. Everything you'd expect from a black holiday movie, but with white people in it, women snapping peas, a gun-toting grandma. We gonna have to pop a cap on Jesus' birthday. Hallelujah. And a guy wearing a necklace over a turtleneck. Girl, men are dogs. They are gonna go out and they're gonna leave you for a white girl. Oh, I know that's right. Finally, white audiences can have a black holiday movie all their own with joyful gospel from white people. Oh, happy day. Soul. White Christmas has it all. USA Today says, finally, a holiday movie for white people. Town and Country Magazine says, for the first time, I talked to the screen, and it felt great. Vibe Magazine says, can't we have anything? And Essence calls it the Macklemore of movies. White Christmas, starring Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd. And Paul Rudd. White Christmas, the black holiday movie for the rest of us. Are we going to get in trouble for this? So what's this meeting about? I don't know. It better be about our tools. My hammer is falling apart in my hands. Girls can't build with tools like this. I'll never be done with my toys by Christmas. Uh, everyone, settle down. This is Winter's Breath. He's an elf from the home office. Can I have your attention for a moment? Because you're talking about what? You're talking about the hammer? Bitching about the quality of your wood, some pixie you're trying to screw. Let's talk about something important. Put that cocoa down. What? Cocoa is for cobblers only. You think I'm screwing around? I am not screwing around. I am here from Kris Kringle. I'm here from the North Pole, and I am on a mission of mercy. Your name is Honeydew? Yeah. And you call yourself an elf, you son of a bitch? <laughs> Of this. You certainly don't, pal, because the good news is you're fired. The bad news is you've got all, you've got one week to regain your jobs, starting with tonight's build. Oh, have I got your attention now? Good. Because we're adding a little something to this month's toy contest. As you know, first prize is a shiny new toboggan. Anybody want to see second prize? 
Second prize is a box of candy canes. Third prize is you're fired. Everybody get the picture? You laughing now? Huh? You got tools. Santa paid good money for those tools. You can't build with the tools you have. You can't build garbage. You are garbage. Hit the bricks, pal, and beat it, because you are going out. Hey, 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 our tools are weak. Your tools are weak. The effing tools are weak. You're weak. I've been in this business for 615 years. Hey, what's your name? Screw you. That's my name. <laughs> And you want to know why, mister? Because you rode a hedgehog to work, and I got here on a talking moose. That's my name. <laughs> Remember, boys and girls, always, A, always, B, B, C, closing. Always be clo co always be cobbling, always be cobbling. <laughs> What's the problem, pal? Well, I mean, you're such a hero. You're so rich. Why are you coming down here and wasting your time with a bunch of bums? You see this gumdrop? <laughs> you see this gumdrop? This gumdrop costs more than the mushroom you call a house. You see, pal, that's who I am, and you're nothing. Nice guy, I don't care. Good father, elf you. Go home and play with your kids. <laughs> you want to work here? Cobble. I could sit here tonight with the tools you got, make myself 15 train sets tonight in two hours. Can you? Can you? No, no. <laughs> get mad, you sons of bitches, get mad. You know what it takes to be one of Santa's elves? It takes brass balls <laughs> to be an elf. The tools are out there. Build with the tools, you know? I got no sympathy for you. And you know what you'll be saying? Bunch of losers sitting around the reindeer shed, drinking fermented dew out of acorn caps. Oh, yeah. I used to be one of Santa's elves. It's a tough racket. These are the new tools. Whoa. These are the new Glengarry line of power tools. And to you, they're gold. And you don't get them. Why? Because to give them to you is just throwing them away. They're for cobblers. I wish you good luck, but you wouldn't know what to do with it if you got it. And to answer your question, pal, I'm here because Santa asked me to be here as a favor. I said, the real favor, follow my advice and fire your elf and ass because a loser is a loser. Oh, and one more thing. You all get holiday bonuses. It's still Christmas. Yay!